Okay, and we're live. All right, so on to the quest log. The next one we're going to be doing is Gimme 3. Survivors are in need of rescue. Complete a mission and bring them home. So we need to save three survivors in successful missions. Uh, complete a mission in a 3 plus zone. And uh, rewards, we're going to get some, some crazy stuff. Cool. All right, so we're going to go to the map. Take a look and see what kind of options we have here. So we got to go to a 3 plus zone. Oh, wow. All right, well, let's go to our command tab because that uh, what that means is that it's really hard for us given our current power level. So if we can raise our power level, we can make this a whole lot easier. So to do that, we're going to go to the command tree. Looks like we've got some more survivors here. We're going to go to manage and take a look at what we got. So we have a uncommon lead survivor. Interesting. So we're going to go to our squads and we're going to go and pick a leader. And I believe the leader is exactly what we're looking for. So the leader match, you can see the check mark says the leader match is exactly what we need. So we're going to place him. Perfect job. So the scouting party, as you can see in the top left, it has a, the binoculars. Scouting party, and this is our resistance tree. Meaning this is raising the power of our shields so we don't die as fast. So... The higher the power level our group is, the uh, the more shields we're going to have. So that should raise our power level by a little bit. Now we'll go back to the map and uh, it's still orange, unfortunately. <laughs> That's okay, we can deal with orange. Okay, so this is the next one. So we're doing another Fight the Storm mission. So we gotta go get. Uh, we're gonna have to get a blue glow to activate. When you find the atlas, place the atlas, and then build and defend. You know the drill. Stay cool. Don't die. Kill clouds. Bonus challenge is now available. Cool. Bonus challenge. Find it fast. Okay, so I'm gonna head to the outside of the map. Not possible. Okay, so I'm gonna have to make a new gun here pretty quick. So my one is just about done. We're gonna try this one. Swords are pretty good at killing shielders, too. Nice. Alright, so we need to actually rescue three survivors. Target not yet located. Thank you. I was getting worried. I know it's a lot to ask. I really can't leave without it. It's somewhere nearby. Check your map for the location of the medkit. Okay, so he wants us to find some, uh, find a medkit for him. A medkit is more important than, uh, then safety. Uh -uh. All 
Alrighty then. Okay, so we're running out of time here. We need to find that atlas. Nuts, we gotta rescue another person. Keep hey, there we go. This target's a tricky one. Keep searching. Oh, hello. We've got one minute and 46 seconds left to find the Atlas. Alright, so we got to hustle. Seconds left. Heads up, people. Fifteen seconds left. Two seconds left. Fail. Alright, so speedruns fail, but where the heck is it, man? Pretty darn if I can find this stupid atlas. The last possible place on the map that it could, it could be. It's like, come on, man. Alright, so this is a, a med kit area. There is a, a med kit somewhere. Oh, we're close. Looks like we gotta go up. Up higher? Oh, there it is. go. Hoorah! Alright, so. We can go talk to that guy now. Since we're not really under any time pressure because we already failed. <laughs> failed miserably to, uh, find it within the time allotted for the bonus anyway it'll cost us a little bit of XP and there we go Add it to the armory. booyah there we go three survivors saved All right, we're gonna go up this way feel like it's gotta be in the top left corner we haven't seen it anywhere else. Oh, is that it? Oh, I think that's Target it. Target located. Drop the atlas on the target oh when you're man, ready. I was so close to finding it when I wrapped around the outside. I should have finished my outer... My lap around the outside. Darn. Dismissed. Nice 
nice work. Add blue glow to the atlas. Open mission control when you're ready to begin. Okay, open the atlas. That's Start it up. Blow. You got this, Commander. Oh dear, here they come. Now the question is, should I have built more defenses? Maybe. We'll find out soon. Gunslingers. Hoorah. Rock and roll. Okay, so it looks like we got this locked down. I'm burning through my uh, my secondary weapon pretty good. We're gonna use up each of these different weapons. Just so we can get a good feel for what each of the weapons can do at this level. Got a little crazy with that melee weapon there. It almost cost me. Grenade. Save the oh, they got one in. Gosh. Oh, it can't stop him. Oh, taking some hits here. Hurt myself. Hurt the Atlas. All because I started using a melee weapon. Got myself beat up, so melee not such a good idea right now. Got you something.
Getting a lot of people sneaking through. Man, oh man. It's the shielders are the problem. The little shielders if you don't have really, really, really sharp aim. You're a real pain in the butt. Aggressive. Not ugly. Oh, ouch. Oh, ouch. Ooh, I just about died. go oh yeah protect protect oh that one was intense that one was making me think hmm maybe I should have built some walls <laughs> oh boy boy oh boy oh boy it's making that a lot harder than it had to be <laughs> See how far I can push it before I force myself to have to build. Just about got myself killed there. That was close. I had like one health left. All right, cool. You really pulled my butt out of a roaring fire. I didn't stop to think that it's been 15 years since my last exfil, and that foul up put the lives of your men and women in danger. The know-how ain't worth much. If you can't muster the can-do. We're snorkel deep in can-do. But, uh, what's this know-how? That seems good. 25 years active military, 5 years as a drill sergeant, 10 years command experience. Oh, like you know how to do things. That is good. You're hired. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can now level up your heroes with XP. Oh, snap. Hey, Kyle. So I know you're probably still mad at me. You transported me into a hurricane of nightmares. Tropical depression of nightmares. It was like almost, but not quite. I measured the wind speed. Oh, it's nice to know you care. I do. And to make sure that never happens to you again, I built a weather station. Check it out. The first three weather balloons are arriving now. Here we go. Weather Balloon 1, report your findings. We will dance to the music of your anguish. Uh, 
okay. Looking your way for some good news, Bloom Two. The strains of the living nourish the dark wind. Come on, three, help me out here. Blood. <laughs> well, thank you for keeping it short. Something is corrupting these balloons. <laughs> Let's go check it out. <laughs> Blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's gold, man. That's gold. Okay, so now we're going to go to our armory and look at our schematics because we got new toys. Man, we got new toys. Oh, so this one's our new highest DPS weapon. I like that. Reload speed, crit rate. I like this one, man. Oh, this is assault weapon burst. Allows for precise targeting, mobile ranged engagements, good combat damage, but consumes its magazine very quickly. This one is crit rate. Crit rate mag size. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm leaning towards crit rate, to be honest. Alright, so the question is, how are we doing for... How are we doing for resources? Do we have... We don't have any copper. Oh, wait, do we? Oh, no, backpack. Oh, we have one copper. Oh, I see. Well, poo. Okay, so we can't make green ones yet. That's fine. Well, if we can't make green ones, what do we got here? 173. So this is our best DPS weapon. So how about nothing? Nothing? No? Okay, so they're basics. And we can't do anything to them. They are level 1 forever. <laughs> 